Hey there, I am so excited you are here for this full body functional compounds workout. This workout today is all about functional training. It is also our second workout in week two of Revive. So if you were taking part in week two, you kind of already know what we've got going on for this workout. We are working all functional training exercises and functional training is so important that we do do functional training in, we do do, we do functional training in our other strength sessions, but today it is all about functional training and functional training. If you're new to functional training, or maybe, maybe you don't even know you're doing functional training. Functional training is exercises that help make everyday life easier. So it might be certain tasks you do in your everyday life that are going to be easier because you have taken the time to work functional training. So we're going to get right into this workout, but I'll let you know what you need and how this workout's gonna go. So you're gonna need your mat or a cushy surface. You may also want an extra towel. We're gonna do one exercise. It'll be optional kneeling. I'll have a modification if you don't wanna kneel. Your dumbbells, if you have your exercise box, your exercise step, exercise bench, have that handy as well, as well as your sliders. But I will have modifications if you don't have your sliders or your box. But our first exercise, well, we have four rounds this workout. In each round, we have three exercises that we will repeat two times. Work timer is set for 50 seconds. So that's a little bit longer than we usually have. And also our rest is gonna be 30 seconds. And in between each round, we're gonna get an awesome one minute to recover. Our first exercise is optional. If you wanna use dumbbells, we're gonna do an overhead squat. So we're gonna keep those dumbbells up overhead as we squat down and up. So again, optional. If you just want to keep your hands up without dumbbells, totally fine. And now adjust your weight as needed throughout this workout and also take longer recoveries if you need as well. Just listen to your body. But again, I'm so excited you are here. Functional training is so important. It's really going to help make life and our other strength workouts easier. So let's get right into this. If you want to start your watch, you can do that now and grab your dumbbells if you're using those for our overhead squat. All right, getting into position, we're gonna bring those arms up overhead into that press, and we're gonna begin our squat. Here we go. Now this is a super challenging move, so go nice and slow down, keep your chest up. Core is engaged. And if at any time you need to bring those arms down and just do the squat, you can do that as well. Good. Keep your wrist straight as well. Over halfway. Squat is an awesome functional exercise. And if we have the overhead press, you can think about, maybe you've got to push something up into a closet. Up overhead, this is gonna help. Maybe you gotta clean up the garage. This exercise is gonna help. Down and up. Rest it out. Adjust your weight up or down if you need to, or get rid of the weight all together. <sighs> Breathing, just that position overhead is gonna switch things up and challenge you in a new way. So you know, what challenges us helps change us, helps us get stronger. So you're rocking it right now. <sighs> Some exercises too, you will see that we have done in our previous exercises. We also include, I think I mentioned that though, didn't I? We include functional training in our other training as well. But let's begin, arms up, down, and up, good. Exhale as you come up. You're doing awesome. Keep the weight in your heels, especially overhead. You have a tendency to want to bring the chest forward and roll onto the toes. So you really have to make that mind muscle connection right here and right now and focus. Down, good, oh, shaking. We're almost there. Less than 10. Last one. Awesome, amazing job. We get a quick 30 seconds to recover. We're gonna bring it onto the mat. We're gonna do a chest press with our hips held in an isometric hold up. So grab your weights for chest press and bring it on down. And you'll see a modification on the screen with your hips down in this position, just doing that chest press. But if not, squeeze it up and let's begin. Good, weight still stays in the heels. Make sure your knees are in line with your toes so you don't want your knees 
falling out and you don't want them falling in here. Again, we're thinking about a lot of different muscles working together, working that compound move. Good, exhale as you press. Slow and controlled so you can keep good form, keep those wrists straight. One thing that helps me keep my wrist straight with this, I think about punching up towards the ceiling. So I think about keeping my fist right up towards the sky. Keep those hips lifted, don't let them sag, you're almost there. Last one, down, press, good. Bring it down, hold it on the ground for a minute. Anytime you need to take that modification you see on screen, go for it, that is totally fine. Breathing. We gotta go again in 15 seconds. So get your feet planted again, weight stays in the heels, knees and toes in line. Press those hips up and let's begin. Remember, squeeze those chest muscles. Think about an egg in your underarm and you're trying to crack the egg right there. Good. Don't let the hips sag as well. Keep it up, squeezing the glutes. Good, you're rocking it. You are rocking it. We are over halfway. And press, exhale with the press. The next exercise is where you're gonna have that option to kneel, so if you have an extra pad, or towel that you wanna put under, underneath your knees, you can grab that now. Last one, nice. All right, set your dumbbells down. Now I'm gonna go down in weight. I'm gonna show you the exercise. First, you'll see the modification on screen standing. So you can take that modification if you do not want to kneel. But if we are kneeling, we're right down here. We're gonna hold, we're gonna cross our hands. So make sure you've got your hands crossed, elbows tucked in. You're gonna bring that dumbbell out straight, hold it, and back in. So we're gonna do that. Same form, whether you're standing or kneeling. Fingers are crossed around the dumbbell. Out, hold it, and back in. Keep those elbows nice and tight, and back in. Good. So you wanna feel those arms right next to your body as you bring them back in. So you don't want your elbows flaring out to the side. Out, hold it up, hold it up, and back in. So, things to keep in mind. You don't wanna tip from side to side. You don't wanna turn with this weight. Straight out in front of you, hold it. Two, three, counts, and back in. Good, hold it, and back in. Awesome. Nice job, so close. This is a tough move. Hold it and back in, awesome. You get to take a break, breathe it out. If you need to adjust your weight, you can do that now, either up or down. But try not to go too heavy on this exercise because you wanna make sure you're keeping good form. And also, this is a challenge on the shoulder, so you wanna protect the shoulders as well. So don't go too heavy with your dumbbell. But we've gotta go again in about five seconds. So make sure those hands are clasped right around your dumbbell holding it tight to the chest, and then straight out. Hold it, two, three, and back in. So you can work at your own pace, but just don't go too fast. Make sure you're holding it out for a second, and back in. This is helping stabilize and strengthen those core muscles. We're working the shoulders as well. Good. You can feel, as you, if you're kneeling here, even if you're standing, when you extend that dumbbell, you gotta squeeze the glutes here to keep yourself in check so you're not sliding from side to side or twisting. This is an awesome compound move to really work a lot of muscles and functionally. So nice job. Five seconds, almost there. Hold it, three, two, one. Bring it in. Yes, all right, so you can set your, well you can bring it on up and then you can set your weight down. We get a minute now to recover because we are done with round one. So moving on to round two. 
this is where you're gonna need your box. So if you can pull your box, you won't need your sliders just yet, so I'm gonna just keep those up there. We are going to do a rotational step up to press. So we're gonna have two dumbbells. We're gonna stand next to the box. We're gonna take the left, we'll start with the left leg since I'm here. You can start with your right leg. But whatever leg is closest to the box, you're gonna step up, rotating up to a press and back down. So we're gonna do that two times on one side and then switch it over to the other side and then we're gonna do dips on the box. So if you don't have your box, you can see a modification on the screen, but grab your dumbbells for your overhead press and let's get to this. So we're gonna get that rotation in here, here we go. And back center, rotate up. Once you're up, we're gonna press all the way up, down, step down, rotate, good. So working different planes of motion as well with this functional training workout today. Good. Almost there, last time. Up, then get that press all the way up, down, and back. Awesome. Two times on that side, or two times on this side, and then we're gonna switch. So grab a drink, dry off if you need to. You've got just over 20 seconds to do that. <sighs> Breathing. <sighs> Functional training, I'm telling it, it's working. It's working the mind too, because you gotta keep it all together as you're moving and grooving to build muscle. <sighs> we go in three seconds, so grab your dumbbells. Bring it up, and here we go. Take each part of this move individually. So that'll help you focus on each move. So step up, then press up, control those arms down, then take that step down then back forward. Breathing, press up, down, and one, awesome. So now we're gonna switch it over to the other side. I'm just gonna move my box over. All right, we've got 10 seconds. Whew. Now, if you can keep the same weight, try to maintain that same weight so this leg will get the same work as the other side. But we're gonna bring the weights up. Now, whatever leg is closer to the box, you're gonna rotate and step. Here we go. Press up overhead. Back down and forward. Good. Breathing, exhale as you press up on the foot and then up with the arms. Good. Last one and center, perfect. 30 seconds, last time for that one. And then we're gonna work dips on the box. Oh, she's a stretchy pod. Good girl. All right, 15 seconds, we go again. And then we are almost halfway through this workout. This workout is just a little over 30 minutes today. We've gotta go in five seconds. So get your dumbbells ready, bring them up. And let's begin, here we go. Good, press up. 
Make sure you've got good form. Keep that chest up nice and strong. And back. Whew. Halfway. Press it up, down. Almost there, last time. Press it up, down, oh, and rest it out. No dumbbells for our dips, but you can modify this on the ground if you'd like, um, or you can use your box. Now with our box, fingertips are gonna be pointing towards the wall that's in front of you. You wanna make sure you're keeping your back close to the box. So you don't wanna be way out here to do your dips. You wanna be nice and close. You can keep your knees bent or you can keep them straight. This is gonna be a little bit more intense, but the more you bend your knees and bring them in, that's gonna bring that intensity down. <sighs> Breathing, <sighs> chest is up. Nice. And press. So those elbows are going to the wall behind you. You don't want your elbows flaring out to the sides as you lift and lower. So make sure everything is nice and tight here. And press. Almost there, less than 10. And one, nice. You can rest it out here. Enjoy yourself, grab a drink, dry off. I think I need to dry off. Functional training is serious. We've got 15 seconds, so breathe it out. The arms are tired. This round is really challenging on those shoulders and arms. So get back into position. Again, back is flat, keeping it close to your box. And let's begin. Pushing through the heels of your hands here. So make sure you keep your head up. Don't look down at your legs or your feet because that's gonna round your shoulders and round your back. So make sure you keep everything nice and strong, keeping good posture. Oh, the arms. Oh, gotta shake it out. We got 15 seconds. You've got this. Don't worry about the number of reps, just focus on keeping good form. One more. And up, Ooh. enjoy your minute of recovery. I'm gonna show you what we've got going on next. We are gonna get rid of the box. I don't think, I'm peeking at my board. I don't think we need, oh, we do need this at the in the very last round. So just set it out to the side for now, but we will not need it for this next round. So pushing that off to the side. We are gonna go into a sumo deadlift. So with the sumo deadlift, it's gonna be a hinge at the knees and the hips. So we're gonna, I'm gonna use just one dumbbell, but this is an awesome compound exercise to really work a lot of muscles. Also a very good functional exercise. So that dumbbell is gonna be down again. We're gonna hinge at the hips and the knees as we come down and pull up. So really squeeze to get that weight up. That's our first exercise. Then we're gonna bring it onto the mat for a few exercises, but let's get ready for that sumo deadlift. Starting down here, back flat, core engaged, and we go. Good. Back flat, squeeze up. You can use two dumbbells as well with this one. I just find it a little bit easier for the hand positioning to use just one. But if you are new to the world of deadlifts, go a little bit lighter, get your form correct first and then start increasing your weight once you feel comfortable with this move. But again, back is flat, core engaged. So the squat 
The difference with the squat is you don't lean forward as much, where in the deadlift, you have a little bit more of a hinge in the hips. And then the Romanian deadlift that we do, last one, down and up, just hinging at the hips and not the knees. <sighs> Breathing it out, 20 seconds. We get to do that again. If you need to adjust your weight up or down, go ahead and do that now. Grab a drink, dry off as well. 15 seconds now. <sighs> I'm gonna bring the weight down, starting it down at the ground. Five seconds, so let's get into position. <sighs> bring those legs out wide and let's begin. Still keeping that weight close to your body though. So you don't wanna try to set it out far. So keep it nice and close. And power through. Nice. This is an awesome strengthener as well for the lower body. Also working the core with this one. Really get that pull and squeeze here at the top. Nice, 15 seconds. You've got it. Oh, last time through for this one. Then we're gonna bring it to the mat for our next two exercises. <sighs> Breathe one more. And, oh, nice. Set your dumbbell off to the side. You are rocking it. All right, for this next exercise, you're gonna see a modification on the screen but we are going to do a fire hydrant with one arm out. So the opposite arm is gonna be out for whatever leg you are doing fire hydrant with. So for me, left arm's gonna be out, other arm, shoulder, elbow, wrist, and we're gonna do a fire hydrant, just like this. So join me, this is, this is a challenging move. Here we go. Really challenges the core, but you've also got that glute, well, your glutes are part of your core, just wanna mention that, but it's really working the glute muscle as well, really intensifying this, but keep that arm out. Take the modification anytime you need to, or start with that and build up. Good, keep that belly button tight, squeezing into your spine. So you don't wanna let your back round up and you also don't wanna let your bum come up towards the sky. Whoa, hello, and lift. Oh, nice, that is awesome. That even works the other leg that's just hanging out there. Oh man, beautiful. So we're just gonna switch sides now. Same exercise, if you had your left hand up, you're gonna lift the right hand up now and then work that opposite leg. So getting into position, we've got 10 seconds. For the arm that's on the ground, make sure shoulder, elbow, wrist all in line. Same thing here, whatever leg is down, hips, knees in line. Let's begin, arm is out and fire hydrant. And lift, breathing. This is one of those exercises you may find one side is a little bit easier than the other or you have a little bit better balance on one side, totally fine. Working unilaterally will help us strengthen both sides up to even that out. But it is just something that happens. You always have one side. It's a little bit stronger than the other. Breathing. Come on, keep it strong, almost there. I know, I'm shaking with you. Last one. Oh, awesome, breathe it out here. Now we're going into a side plank with a knee pull. Now again, modification's gonna be on the screen. You can always start with the modification and build your way up. Or you can even start with the higher intensity and if you find that you have to take it down to that lower intensity option, it is there for you. This is your time, so make it count. But side plank with a knee pull, we're gonna do one side and then the other. We're gonna be up on that side plank on your elbow and we're gonna bring it in. So join me now, here we go. Slow and controlled. You don't need to rush through this. I want you to focus on form, make sure those hips are staying up nice and high. Extend it back out, crunch it in 
and then extend. But keep a strong line down your body right here. Well over halfway, you are so close now. We're gonna switch sides next and then we've got one round left. Oh my, almost, almost, come on. You've got it. And one, nice, bring it down. Just switching sides. Again, modification will be the same. You'll just switch sides over. But grab a drink, dry off. You got about 20 seconds left before we go. 50 seconds of work. We've got to get in position because we've got 10 seconds. That rest goes by quick. But hey, this is flying by today. I cannot believe we only have one round left after this. You are rocking it. All right, bring it up, extend, and pull. Keep those hips up. Good. Don't forget to breathe on this one. Right now, I know it's getting challenging. Make sure those hips aren't sagging. If the form is getting a little bit questionable, take the modification, you will still be working really hard with that modification. Come on, 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job, one minute. Bring it down. We're gonna keep it on the mat. Now, for this last round, this is where you'll need your box, your chair, your bench, so make sure that's handy and nearby. This is also where you're gonna need your sliders. So for the sliders, we don't need any dumbbells right now, but if you have your sliders, um, we are going to just use one slider at a time. You can take the modification on screen if you don't have your sliders, but let me just, I'll show you what this like first, what it looks like. We are gonna do a diagonal leg slide, one side and then the other. We're gonna work two times on each side. It's gonna look just like this. So we're gonna be up in this hip lift. We're gonna slide out at an angle on one side and back in. Slide out at an angle and back in. So almost as if you're taking a sumo squat position with your hip bridge, but with just one leg. So let's begin. We've got to bring it up, bring it up, and here we go. Press it out at an angle and in. Out and in, good. Keep those hips lifted. Whoo, breathing. Nice work. You're halfway. This is really what functional training is all about because this is how we're always gonna pet our pets, right? We are really working functional right now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. When your cat comes over when you're doing some <laughs> leg slides. Last one. Out and in, nice, bring it down. One more time for that same side and then we'll switch it over. Whew. Breathing. The functional training will help with your, when you're out with your pets, when you're with your kids, when you're doing your chores at home. <sighs> so awesome you're here because guess what? We're almost done too. Bring it, <laughs> bring it. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it up, let's begin. So slide it out at an angle. Ah, don't lose it though. There we go. And up. And back in, good. Exhale as you press that leg out. Whew. Good, out. Over halfway, so you've got this. If you need to take a break for a second, just hold those hips up and then get right back into that out and in. And one, 
Good, bring it down. We're just switching sides, so going to that opposite side. Two times through for the other side now. And then we're gonna use our box. And if you have your box, your chair, your bench, we're gonna use that. We're gonna put our heels up and we're gonna do hip lifts that way. So getting ready to go, bring it up, squeeze the glutes, get into position, add an angle out, and let's begin. Whew. I know I'm challenging you today. I know this has not been easy. This has been challenging us both making that mind muscle connection and the muscles whew, challenging our balance as well but you are doing it I'm telling you what when you do those things that are that are tough it's going to make a difference especially if you are consistent showing up for your workouts you're going to be amazed i'm not i'm not even trying to get all corny on you i'm just being for real right now Evie, excuse me <laughs> Well, this is cute. <laughs> oh my, at least we're being entertained, right? And last one. Oh dear, Stella. Well, the kitty got her way, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, we've got one set left. We're gonna go in 15 seconds. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm giggling about this, this is silly. All right, whoops, let's bring it up. Hips lifted, squeeze the glutes, we're gonna slide, here we go. Out at an angle, pull it back in, good. Out. Working the core, working the hamstrings. Good. Excuse me. <laughs> We're getting some extra spice into this workout if your if your animals are crawling around you right now. <laughs> Making for an extra challenge. <laughs> and one. Bring it down. <laughs> All right, so now this is where you're gonna need your box. You can also use your dumbbells and you'll put these right on your hips or you can use one right across. For this exercise, when my hips are up, I kinda like to use one. So I'm gonna use one dumbbell on this, but bring your box over. I'm gonna keep mine at the lowest level. At, this is 16 inches. This is where I'm gonna keep mine. But let's get our dumbbell, bringing those hips up. This is our last exercise, two sets. Plant those heels, shoulders down. We're gonna lift, squeeze, and lower. I want you to hold it for a second. Hold it, hold it, and then down. Hold it, and down, good. Squeeze, and <laughs> down. Oh my. We're usually not this silly in our filmed workouts. In the live workouts, we are, but lift and lower. Amazing, almost there. Just about 10 seconds. 10 squeeze. Last one, down and up. Bring it down. All right. I told you this was our fun channel time, right? We are having lots of fun with all the fur babies. All right, we go in less than 20 seconds. Final time, if you need to adjust your weight up or down, you can do that now. 10 seconds we go, so we're gonna get ready. Last time, I want you to give it everything you've got. Really hold it at the top, really contract those muscles, and then control it back down. Let's begin, this is it, 50 seconds. Squeeze up. And down, exhale with that squeeze. Squeeze up. Good. And squeeze. And down, good. And up. Press it up. Oh yeah, over halfway, you've got this. And down. 
squeeze up. Don't forget, hold it for a second. Really get those hips up, drive everything up, up, up. And then down. A few seconds left. Come on, last one, we're gonna hold. Here's three, two, one. Down, set your weight off to the side. Oh my, oh, we did it. That was our just over 30 minute functional workout. And I am so excited you joined me. Thanks for, thanks for dealing with my hair. Thanks for dealing with my <laughs> wild little animals here. I love you so much. And it is so awesome to have you along for these workouts, you are seriously the best workout friend a girl could ask for. If you are done with your workouts for today, do not forget to get a stretch. And if you are interested in Revive, if you have not signed up yet to get your free calendars and your free extras, you can do that down below in the description. You'll find a link and I will either see you over at the stretch or down here to sign up for Revive. And I love ya.